I think. Isaac gave young people a chance to contribute to the development of young people, their kind, and therefore making a real impact for the society afterwards in the future. I think that's what I would say. What is Isaac about? I think there are a couple of them. I can't really say which one is the most impressive. I think they are from different aspects. I would say. The number one thing I said today already in the plenary is the fact when I went on exchange with ISA to Ghana and uh, that experience that I lived there with no context, no very strange, unfamiliar environment, no electricity, no facilities, at the same time volunteer for the West Africa AIDS Foundation. So that experience itself is challenging, but at the same time you really go deep to the culture itself, you get really, really good friends for your life and you see where they come from, why they do the, what they do, and what is the value set that they have with them. And you have a very deep connection with that, that make you feel like even you are definitely not Africa, of course, but you feel like you're part of their family, part of their history, part of their story. So I think that's a very powerful uh, experience that I had, I would really highlight. I think, that's my personal opinion, because great power comes from great responsibility, right? I wouldn't say President of Vice International has a lot of power, because at the end of the day, this association is a very decentralized association. But the fact that you are sitting on the global headquarters, being a leader of that global organization, that gives you a lot of responsibility. You need to be able to make right decision, sometimes tough decision, because it might not be pleasing everyone, but it has to be aligned with what ISA wants to do. And you need to be very strict towards that. So therefore, I think that responsibility is really, really big. Whatever decision you make from the office, you know, suddenly you make the decision, 100,000 people might be impacted, and you've got to be really, really clear what you actually is doing and what you're actually serving for. So I think that's, for me, the, the implication of what does it mean to be uh, the president of ICE International. I think there are two sides of the, the coin. Number one is because ICE is keep on getting bigger and bigger. If ISIC is keep on going bigger, we are, very, we are a volunteer-based organization. How can we ensure that by growing bigger, we're still able to manage the organization itself so that we don't lose, let's say, the quality of the experience, we don't lose the essence by mismanagement because people always make mistakes. Once you have a much bigger scale, it becomes very easy for you to make mistakes, like unconsciously, right? So I think mean, that's a challenge that ISIC needs to solve from a management perspective. The other side of the coin is from the value and the essence perspective, because the world is evolving very fast. People always say, yeah, whatever is true today might probably not be true tomorrow. And I think Isaac took a stand that our belief, peace and fulfillment of humankind's potential has been there since 60 years ago. In a newly, very fastly evolving society, can we keep, keep, keep it up to that dream that we had from the previous generation? and really be able to evolve that, but still stick to the same line of thought to make ISEC the organization that it's supposed to be and make ISEC also be able to evolve to reach more people with the essence that we want to bring to the world. So I think that's the second challenge, I would say. Well, I think my, my, one of my personal highlights for this event was when the founder of ISEC in Germany gave that speech. For me, I think it's, it was very powerful because if you don't experience that period of time in the history why ISAC is founded, probably a lot of young people now they don't really understand why it is so important for ISAC to do international cultural exchange. Why it is so important for us to stick to those principles because this is where it comes from. So I think for me it was a very powerful realization when I hear that uh, speech from the founder of ISAC in Germany to keep on reminding us this is our essence, this is where we come from and that should be the foundation of whatever ISAC wants to do in the future. So that was a very powerful moment for me.